Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Evacuation Point Suicidal, and I watched all of uh, Queen's Gambit on Netflix last night. I sat down, I sat my butt down, and I watched all of it. I put it on, and I just, I got, I got obsessed with it. It was, it was like everything I needed in my life at that moment in time was Queen's Gambit. It's a mini-series on Netflix, it's like seven episodes long, about uh, Elizabeth Harmon, who is a um, chess prodigy, uh, and she deals with uh, a little bit of sexism in the industry at the start, although that mostly doesn't really uh, hold much like main story stuff. It's mostly about her own personal um, struggle with... Uh, the, the things that are happening in her life and the events and stuff. Um, very, like, highly, highly good. Uh, super duper good uh, show. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, but it brought to my attention uh, Anya Taylor-Joy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that entirely right. But uh, the actor who played Elizabeth Harmon, or at least uh, Elizabeth Harmon after she was no longer young. Um... And she is a fantastic actor, in my opinion. She she did that role out of justice. I'll, I'll put it that she 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 she. I don't know. I've I've uh, watched a lot of shows and and TVs and and stuff in the past, but I've never had like an actor in a show feel that like like attached to the character. You know what I mean? Like it's hard for me to kind of explain it, but. It, just, it, it felt like I was watching like a true story kind of thing, and, and I think that was largely because her acting was just phenomenal. I don't really like uh, acting in movies and stuff too much, generally speaking, because I, I feel like it's pretty cheap and I don't really enjoy it too much. But she, she did she did extremely well. Um, it was it was like oh my god, I'm I'm done. Just just watching her. Like walk into the chess tournaments with with that like unbridled confidence was was just in, like awe-inspiring almost. It was incredible. Uh, so I'm definitely interested in watching more stuff that she's in because I think she did like a really fantastic job. And yeah, I wanna I wanna see more of 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 that kind of acting because it was it was really 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 good. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I watched. I've watched a fair bit. I haven't watched like a ton, but I've watched a fair bit, and, and that was. Never had an actor play a character so well that that I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain the 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 emotions. It was just. It was just. I I feel like she played the character extremely well. I uh, I wish I knew more about uh, how I felt to 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 explain it because. Um, I, w I want to, <laughs> but I, I I don't really know really how to explain it. Um, just just that I've, I've never I've never been like awed by something that an actor has done in a show or a movie or something. It's never been something that I have. I gotta scratch my back. It's never been something that I've had before. I never have never had that experience, but. Especially towards the end where she was walking in with, with just you need ammo. That's a hint. so much confidence in, in every like step that she took and it was it was incredible. It was it was incredible. Um Anyway, I think I think I don't I don't think the show would have been nearly as good without her. And then on top of that, she's also like the prettiest woman I've ever seen in a in a show. Just just something about the the way her eyes and, and the lips kind of like fit together on her face just just kind of was like holy crap you're unbelievably pretty so it was uh, it was a real treat to watch it was a real treat to watch very very pretty lady who was like highly talented performing a role that seems to just like be built for her it was uh, with with like a good story to be like I'm like this is this is exactly everything that you're looking for in a in a show this is this is it you know this this is what this is what you want in a show 
You, know, you might want other things as well, but this is this is like perfection, you know. It was amazing. It was an it was an amazing show. It's it's quickly risen like immediately when I started watching. It. Like I, I literally I sat down and I was like, ah, I've heard some people talking about this recently, and um, it's it's like you know number two on Netflix or whatever. So I was like, whatever, I'll watch like the first episode and, and see how it goes. No, I sat down. I didn't move until it was done. And then I was like, wait, it's it's done? It's like 5 a.m. or something, 5.30, something stupid like that. I never, I've never been hooked that much. I think it was just because of uh, Vanya Taylor-Joy just doing such a phenomenal job. Anyway. Anyway, enough about the pretty lady. Um, where are you gonna come from? Where are you gonna come from? Don't do it! <laughs> it was a little bit. It was a little bit spooked down there for sure. I'm just gonna toss that there. Um, yeah, enough about the pretty lady. It was it was a really fantastic show. It didn't go into chess as much as I was kind of hoping it would. I was I was hoping I'd be able to maybe learn like a little bit from it. Didn't really, didn't really learn much from it at all. Um, but you know whatever. It was still fantastic. It was a fantastic show. There were a couple of problems with it. Um, a couple of problems with it. Uh, we're gonna get into some spoilers at this point. If you, if you want to watch the show, like go watch it, then come back and finish watching this, okay? Because um, I'm gonna be we're gonna be getting to, to hard spoilers now, okay? Uh, so there were a couple of problems with it that I had that I don't think are present in the book. Uh, so the main problem for me was the the main romantic interest was apparently Towns, who she met when she was 15 years old. And he looks to be like, you know, in his early 20s or something like that. That was the main romantic interest. And I didn't realize that he was like a romantic interest. I thought he was a creep and like trying to rape her and take advantage of her. And apparently she was trying to have sex with him and he rejected her. But I thought that it was... Him trying to rape her and then her getting out of it. So I was uh, I was a little bit surprised at the end of the show when um, he showed up in the uh, in the like Russian uh, chess tournament place to to be like a reporter, and uh, she ran up and hugged him because I saw him there and I was like, oh god, she's gonna be like traumatized and not be able to perform. But she ended up like running up and hugging the guy, and I'm like, did he not try to rape you? Like, what the heck's going on? Um, so, they, they really didn't do that well with that. Uh, I believe in the books, uh, she stays connected with Towns after the initial tournament. Because they played in was it Cincinnati. Or uh, wherever they they were initially. They, uh, they played there. She, you know, destroyed him. They kind of like chatted a little bit and, and got along and stuff. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, he was he was 20, she was 15 or whatever. Um, but, it's like a bloody what are you, what are you doing? But, um, they never, they never talked again until they met up at the, uh, the U.S. Uh, open in, uh, Vegas, I believe. And then when they met there, he was like, hey, come up to my room and we can take some pictures. And I was like, oof, he's going to rape you. Because, like, there had been no other communication between them. Uh, but I believe in the books there was. Um, I believe in the books there was some communication between the two of them. Just not shown in the show, which really, really changed the whole like perspective of it because from my opinion or from from my perspective he was he was a predator and uh she was a victim and then um 
she ended up getting saved by uh, some random dude or whatever and he ended up being you know like all kinds of complications and stuff but but from my from my from my perspective he was he was the predator she was the victim and um, cuz 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 she she seems uncomfortable right in, the, in that in that uh, in that initial scene in the U.S. Open when he was bringing her up to her, his room, because she, she was like, "Your room? Sure." And then uh, you know they they sat down and played chess and whatnot, and she seemed uncomfortable. And it was this like dark environment and stuff, and I'm like, "Man, you're really making it seem like something bad's gonna happen here." And so I was assuming something bad was gonna happen there. It ends up that uh, he's just gay or whatever, but like even that's not really totally described there. It's just a dude in like swim shorts or whatever and I'm like okay so you're just like friends who are in the same room or something like that like it's not it's not you know gay erasure in, in my head or whatever it's just it kind of it kind of felt like uh, just just friends who were comfortable with each other's bodies I didn't I didn't really get like gay from it so much um and then he was like chasing her and stuff afterwards and I'm like oh my god this dude is like a creepy stalker and then he doesn't show up again until the very end when uh, when all of a sudden you know Beth is is like super into it and like oh my god it's it's you and we can like you know have friends and be friends and stuff and at a certain point um, when she was in Paris when Beth was in Paris she met up with Cleo at, uh, at like a bar or whatever right and uh, and they were talking about like unrequited love and uh, you know stupid men and whatnot. And I had absolutely no idea who they were talking about at that point. I'm like trying to puzzle it together. I like paused the show and I'm like, who's her unrequited love? Like I don't think she's ever been in love. She's only been like assaulted. <laughs> but yeah, they 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 just for me they didn't put enough into it for there for there to be love between Beth Harmon and uh, and Towns whatever his name was they just they didn't put enough there for, for that to be something that would plausibly happen in my opinion which uh, definitely detracted I think I think it would have been much more enjoyable if I knew that uh, Towns was a romantic interest and then gay and rejected her advances instead of it being the other way around which is what I thought it was which is he was trying to assault her and take advantage of her you know trusting and you know naive naivete or whatever um, naivety and uh, yeah it, it would have been it would have been a much more enjoyable experience if they if they showed some kind of correspondence between towns and Beth uh, earlier on so that when it happens you're aware that there is some kind of like sexual tension between them and uh, that she's okay with it because they had at no point indicated that she was okay with any kind of sexual relationships and then it, or uh, with with towns anyway um, and then they just kind of like throw you into it and and uh, it, it it really ended up taken away from my enjoyment when I found out at the end and he was just like her best friend now and I'm like I just I have no idea <laughs> how this is happening but uh, when I went and read, read it a, bit, a little bit, I, I realized that uh, apparently he's supposed to be the romantic interest, which is like pff, M. Night Shyamalan line twist right there. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce M. Night Shyamalan person. Um, not because I can't pronounce his name. But because everybody on the internet who pronounces his name does it wrong, and so I just actually have never heard his name. I just actually genuinely don't know how the name is pronounced. And I don't know how it's spelled even. Because it's always a meme. It's always a meme. Which, uh, which must suck. Well, I don't know. If your goal is to advertisement, I guess it's working, right? Um, anyway, it was it was a it was a really really good show despite that, um, but that was a was a major problem in my opinion. Um, was uh, and it was kind of a recurring theme too. 
It was kind of a recurring thing because uh, Beth with her mother, her, her uh, adopted mother, was uh, kind of having a similar kind of thing. It's kind of a similar thing with, uh, with Beth and her adopted mom. Um, because in my opinion, it kind of, like, I recognized that Beth didn't feel like um, she was being abused. My god, just too many husks, dude. We're not done with this episode yet. We're not done with this episode yet. I recognized that Beth wasn't opposed to uh, her mother's antics. That she was, you know, supportive of it all and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, I recognized that because uh, her mom asked for a 10% split and Beth raised it to 15%. So, obviously, Beth was okay with her mom doing what she was doing and she was having a good time and, and all that kind of stuff. But to me, it kind of seemed like the mother was taking advantage of that regardless. I, I, I feel like outside of Beth, the character's kind of sucked <laughs> First batch of Zeds um Get ready to Harry Beltic was a little bit creepy too because the other the other thing you got to remember right is Beth looked very mature Beth looked very mature um what we here, boys and girls? but she was like at the end of the movie like or at the end of the show I mean, basically movie at the end of the show she was like what 18, 19, or something like that, and and all these people around her are like in their 30s, and and these are the people who she's you know banging, and 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 I'm like, I don't know, you know, she would have been like 17 or 16 when when uh, when they started having like a whole bunch of sexual tension going on with towns, and I'm like, I don't know, there's just um a certain degree of like weirdness going on here with with everything that's not Beth and then also kind of Beth but like Beth is weird so it's okay I don't know it just it just it felt weird it felt weird it was really really good but I I think it was largely saved by uh, Anya Taylor-Joy's acting I think is largely what saved it but it was a very good show regardless I really enjoyed it I just there, there were there were just a number of problems that yeah you know, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 I'd give it like an 8 out of 10 there were a couple of problems that really detracted from from the overall experience for me personally anyway um, and and it, they largely are the the all the, the side characters who are just poorly developed like Benny Benny good old Benny you know I liked Benny he only had one outfit until like episode six or something you know he only had the one outfit been cool if he had you know any other outfit and it was like a, a I don't know maybe other people also only had one outfit and, and Beth Harmon's the only one who was getting changed but um, he, had a, he had a very you know striking style I feel like he could have had uh, more outfits, personally. I just, I, I the, the, the characters that aren't Beth were lacking to me, personally, is, is basically how I feel about it. Which is unfortunate, because uh, it could have been, like, such a great show, you know? It was still one of my favorite shows of, like, all time. It, it could have been, like, you know, uncontested, if, if it were just a, a couple of things. Uh, one of the other things that I didn't really like about it and this is probably a controversial thing, is there wasn't enough sexism. I feel like they didn't build on the sexism issues as much as they could have. Um, they, they made them known, and I, I believe that the kind of general consensus behind it is that uh, they made it... They, they did it in a... I, I think that the general consensus is that it wasn't, you know, shoehorned in. But I, I also think that the reality of the situation is back in the 1960s, women weren't really, even today to a certain extent, but especially back in the 1960s and, and earlier, um, women weren't really considered, you know, equal in any respect. Um, so so that, that she was able to just like do what she wanted without really any issues 
kind of felt wrong to me. I, I wish they, they focused on the sexism issue and, and how she would have had to overcome those issues as a, as, as a female chess player in the 1960s because that could have been a, a good way forward for it. Instead, they were kind of just like, yeah, women aren't allowed in chess. But, sure, you're allowed to play chess. You know? I'm like, I don't know. It kind of feels brushed over. To me, that kind of is, is what makes it feel shoehorned in. You know, a lot of people are like, well, it doesn't feel that extreme. It's not very, like, forced in. But, like, it doesn't serve a purpose, really. And they don't have to have a purpose for a lot of things. But to me, when you're going to be including sexism and something like that like to me I, I just I feel like it would be better if it if it did serve a purpose you know it's not like just including a black character or a gay character whenever where you don't need a reason it's it's sexism it's it's a political statement you know um, it's a political issue it's a very clearly political issue and I just to me it would have been cooler if uh, if there was more sexism and it's showing what it was like to, to be a, a female chess player in the 1960s, which I don't know what it was like, but I, I imagine it wasn't quite as smooth sailing as Beth Harmon made it out to be. Is, is kind of my uh, assumption on that. Because she had, uh, she had, all in all, pretty smooth sailing. Like, that's about what I would expect from, like, today. You know? You go to a chess tournament, they're like, oh, we don't have a female, um, we, we don't have, like, a women's league, you know? Like, that's expected today. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the norm now. Right? Let alone 50 years ago. 60 years ago. Like, I just, I, yeah. It would, it would have been cooler if there was more sexism, which is a weird thing to say. Um, but I, I would have liked it if, if there were more of a focus on that, you know, extend it by like maybe one or two episodes to kind of fill it with a little bit more uh, focus on the sexism part because that's that's an important part of uh, of her character, in my opinion, anyways, is overcoming that. Um, and I know that like she herself says that it's all about just being woman in in the in the Time article or whatever, but um, we're not in the 19th, we're in 2020. Um, you know, it would it would have been it would be nice, in my opinion, to to have that. I got a. Uh, I have a. Okay. Um. I have a image message from my mother. I am going to save the attachment. Then go over to my Discord. And we're going to send it here. Okay. Then we go to the Discord on my computer. We open it up. Double check that everything that you can see is okay to see. I believe it is. This is... Make sure that everything is really okay here. Yeah, it seems okay. I don't have my my keyboard's not. <laughs> That's the picture I was sent. That's our cat. Apparently it was important enough to interrupt my video. Apparently I agreed. Seven. Anyway, it would have been just cool if there was more sexism. That's all it really boils down to. So that was that was the main issue is the uh, the side characters kind of felt bland. Um and then uh, there wasn't enough sexism. I would I would have liked uh, another episode or two with with a little bit more um, development on the side characters, a little bit more uh, showing of, of what it's like to, to be a woman in 1960s, and uh, yeah, I think that could have made it a lot better personally. But you know, ultimately, it's still one of my favorite shows of all time. <clears throat> Ultimately, it is still one of my favorite shows of all, if not my favorite show of all time. Um, I just, uh, I don't know, there's there a few problems with it. It's still a really, really good show, though. Like, they aren't, uh, it's not like I'm like, yeah, it would have been, like, way better if they, you know, 
made them actually play chess for the show because like it kind of just made it feel cheap if they didn't actually play chess no like they actually played chess and there was actual chess strategy going on and stuff um i don't know enough about chess to say whether or not it was like good chess strategy or whatnot but there was there was actual actual stuff i i assume they had actual people who know what they're talking about help them uh with the making of it and that definitely adds something to the uh to the show of course um but uh yeah just just a couple of problems for me it was a good time last night regardless like i said i sat down and i i binged it all i, I think it was largely because of annie taylor joy who, who really made it um as good of an experience as it was i think without her it would have been much much worse now you could have found another actor who also would have done a very good job of it i'm sure but uh i don't know i just like i couldn't see anybody else playing it just i feel like i feel like she really fit that character in like in like a, in a perfect way that was that was you know i think i think that a lot of the times you have actors who like play a role and then anytime they're playing another role like that's all you can kind of see them as you know but uh At least in this case, or and and that I think that's what this is for her. You know, anytime I see her in another, in another show, I'm gonna be seeing Elizabeth Harmon. Probably not. It's probably a lie. I think she has a very recognizable look to her, though. So I'll probably be able to recognize her in movies. I have trouble recognizing people in uh, in shows, but she has a, like a just a, a very unique look I, I haven't seen many other people who look similar to her in my opinion anyway I've, i have uh, i have issues with recognizing faces so perhaps something about her face is is giving me a uh, weird like recognizableness to it or something i don't know but whatever the case may be I will definitely be able to recognize her in uh, in future shows. I'll be searching out. She's got a couple of uh, movies and shows that she's in, I believe. So I might check them out if they're interesting. I mean, I'm not going to check them out if they're not interesting. I don't think I'd enjoy a show I wouldn't like just because she's in it. But I definitely, I definitely want to see more more of her because uh, she was fantastic. Anyway, that's enough about um, Queen's Gambit. It's a good show. Highly good show. Recommend it. Highly recommend. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's good. It's not too political. I like it a little bit more political. If you don't, then you know, that's your prerogative. Um, but, yeah. Good show. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye